What's up fellow collectors, welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna be checking out the item you see in front of you. It is the new Captain America shield. We saw this uh, for the first time at the end of Endgame when old Steve hands it off to Sam. And we see it in the new uh, show on Disney Plus, uh, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So this particular shield, it was made by a company called Comic Sandwiches. Uh, it is, I guess, a third-party item. It's not licensed. And I'm going to be honest, man. It is blowing some of the licensed stuff out of the water. Like, look at that shine. That thing is gorgeous. So we're going to have a look at it. I'm going to take you through some specs. Uh, I'm going to tell you what I like about it. I'm going to tell you about the few issues I have with it. And we are going to compare it to an officially licensed... Um, cap shield that i have from efx and uh we're gonna check out the similarities and the differences and let's get to it all right the shield is coming in at roughly six pounds and it is made of aluminum roughly 24 inches uh i gotta say it's pretty pretty accurate to the show real nice shine on that there All right, checking out the back of the shield. Uh, we got some nice actual leather straps here, uh, adjustable, so you can adjust it to your arm. Really good for cosplaying. Uh, they got a little stamp there. That's pretty cool. I do think there was a little bit of a missed opportunity here because when you look at the uh, cap back of the Captain America shield, which we don't see very often, there is actual more circles, uh, I guess, indentations around the inside of... Uh, the shield so it would have been cool to kind of see that there not a big deal though i mean for the most part no one's looking at the the back of the shield we want to look at the front of the shield nice and shiny on the back though uh this is looks really nice and uh finished there attached to the shield and let's flip it around again we'll get it nice and close now let's talk about some points here these little notches which essentially just look like um, pieces missing out of the vibranium. They're not on this. These are actually stickers. They are very well-placed. You can actually feel them. These are very well-placed, just stickers. And that gives you that illusion, like those little, I guess, indents or little tiny holes inside the shield. The paint app is pretty good. It's definitely got some flaws. Uh, and for me, personally, um, you know, I, I, I nitpick stuff. I really do. I, I get in there and I, I try to find, you know, if there are little flaws. And there's definitely flaws. Um, you probably could notice it as I was filming. Right here is a little bit of a dark spot. That is not different light hitting it. That is actually like a paint application uh, situation going on there. There is... A little tiny scratch on this as well. It's actually very hard to pick out. But if we just flip this guy down flat here. Even now, it's still hard to see, but it's right here. And again, that came just like it. Uh, I did find a little nick right here. Uh, it appears to be something that was possibly on the shield before I can actually feel it. Uh, I could probably buff that out, but I would not really care to do it because it is very minimal. My biggest pet peeve with this would be, and let's see if we can find it super easy. There you are. The chip right here. That is probably the biggest eyesore for the most part, aside from that little bit of a weird dark red paint app. But I can feel it. That is a chip missing. I did contact the guys at uh, Comic Sandwiches and Grayson. Talked to him. Uh, real nice guy. Uh, he said my best solution to that is to get a red Sharpie and do a couple of layers and we'll at least take the look off the fact that the paint is missing. 
Um, I, you know, I explained to him what I, how I felt about the few issues that I was having with it. Uh, he did offer to let me send it back for a refund. Uh, he did, did also offer me a small, slight compensation for it. At the end of the day, I didn't really feel like sending it back because even though it has these flaws, I mean, you back off and you, you know, that looks awesome. I mean, you know, I'm nitpicking, but I'm nitpicking for a good reason. This thing cost, um, by the time I, I did the exchange rate and I did the duty because I'm in Canada, this thing cost me $1,100 Canadian. So for $1,100 Canadian, when something shows up that's got some paint app errors, it's got a chip missing in it, I'm going to have to, you know, message the company, like, hey, like, you know, I got some issues with the fact that, you know, it's such a high price point for me. Um, US, I think it's $610. Now, here's another nitpick I got. For $699, uh, a few years ago now, we had this come out. I'm just going to come over here. And this is the EFX original Captain America shield. And for $699 US dollars, it came with its wall mount that I could use to just mount the wall there. It came with a limited edition name tag and numbered. And it even came with a carrying case. Uh, it looked much like a like a drum, um, I, I guess a drum case. You're going to carry like a small drum. Almost like what you see in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. He's carrying it in like a leather case, but it's, it was all black. So, for the extra $80, this thing came with a fair bit. So, I think there's a bit of a missed opportunity there. Um, when you compare, you know, the fact that I got, like, something mounted on the wall. I got the carrying case. I was going to go to, like, a Comic-Con. Like, I got something to, you know, bring it around with me. But, when I look at this and the differences, this is shiny. I remember taking that EFX one out of the bag. And as much as, like, oh, it's cool. I was like, why isn't it shiny? When I took this out of the box, I was like, wow, instantly smile right across my face. I was like, yeah, that, it looks so good. Um, let's have a look at the box that it came in. All right, so this is the box that the shield comes in. Uh, it's nothing fancy at all. I mean, the fanciest part is the little sticker on there that says, you know, comic sandwiches. Um, inside, it was just some styrofoam just to protect it along the way. Now, I'll be honest, like, that's it. It was just a bunch of paper, styrofoam. And when it showed up, at first I was like, I was a little disappointed. I was like, why isn't there any art box? Why isn't there any, you know, something to go with it? And then I realized, man, I got a lot of art boxes from like all my hot toys, all these collectibles I got over here. I was like, I don't need another art box. It's just something else for me to hang on to. And if my house ever caught fire, it's just one extra item that will burn for weeks. So... It, it, instantly, I was like, oh, no no art box, but I got over that pretty quickly. So, again, it is a great-looking shield. We're going to compare the two now next to each other. All right, comparing the back of the shields. Uh, I didn't take the the mount. I actually wanted to leave that on to show you guys kind of how that works for the EFX. But that's essentially all that uh, mount is. I put it on the wall. Pretty simplistic. Um, this is what I'm talking about, the missed opportunity. So, the back of this shield, it doesn't have, like, what EFX had managed to do. Just put these little circles on the inside, like you would see in the, uh, actual Captain America shield. Uh, I really appreciate that, you know, that's in this one. Um, I do think EFX kind of nailed the leather. Like, this is definitely a l it seems like a little bit better quality leather, uh, as opposed to this one. This just feels a little bit more flimsy. This one feels a little bit thicker. Um, so personally, I like the leather on the back of this one a bit better. Um, they're both coming in not too far off each other on the sides. I'm going to say like the EFX one is slightly bigger, not by much, maybe by an inch or so. So I wouldn't say it's a big deal. Um, the EFX one, this one actually weighs more and for EFX, it's actually quite thick. Uh, that's another thing I was very surprised. I'm like, why is that shield so bloody thick? And when you look at this one, very thin, this is more authentic, in my opinion, than what the EFX one was. So they both kind of come with, you know, their, their, their pros and their cons, just like anything else when you're comparing. So let's flip them over. 
All right, side by side. Um, for argument's sake, these are pretty much going to come in or ran me the same amount of money, same amount of value. Um, the FX one would be coming in at the 699 US price point plus shipping. This came in at 610 US plus shipping. Um, but again, the EFX one, it came with something mounted on the wall and it came with a bag to carry it, which definitely is a plus. But when you look at the two of these, the one on the right EFX, that's a licensed prop replica. And that was cast from the same mold, apparently they used on set for the first Avengers movie. And they claim... EFX, and, and I did kind of look into it a little bit, that there are two different shields that they make um, for the movies, or at least for the first Avengers. There's one where he drops down for the first time, Cap, and he uh, sees Loki. And that shield is shining. It's shining just like this one. And there's other ones when he's running around, especially at the end of the movie, he's battling, and it's not as shiny. And they call one a hero edition. It's the up-close ones, it's nice and shiny. And one like this, which is just a little bit lighter for him to be able to run around with. So apparently... They claim that's what they cast this one after. So again, I took this one out of the box, the EFX one, and I did not get that same giddy, smile on my face, happy feel that I got when it came to opening up this one here, the comic uh, sandwiches one. So even like the detail, you can see like, you know, it is nice the way it's kind of like woven all the way around the shield and whatnot. The paint app on this one is pretty good it's I, I like to say the way it's applied is better there's a lot less flaws in the paint app but again you get to this one and it's just shining so at the end of the day even though this one does have its flaws it's got a few issues with some paint application it came with the chip i mean we we can chalk that chip up to shipping i mean it did come in the styrofoam but i mean let's be honest like this styrofoam here like that is not very good styrofoam so we could either chalk it up to maybe crappy packaging or just it was rough as uh, it was being transported. So um, hopefully this will help some people make some decisions on a cap shield. I don't even think you could find an EFX one anymore. This one's been sold out for quite some time. Uh, they only made 1,500 of these. And what I got 15, I got, what did I get? Uh, 1,057 uh, on that one there. Uh, when it comes to customer service for EFX, it's non-existent. It doesn't exist. I would never deal with them directly. I always go third-party, sideshow, big bad toy store. I'd never buy direct from EFX. They're, they're horrible. Um, when it comes to these guys uh, at Comic Sandwiches, I got to say their customer service was good. The response time was good. Um, you send them an email. For me, personally, I didn't wait long. He'd email me back. So no complaints there. Uh, there was customer service. The lines of communication were open. I got no issues when it comes to um, a company that will actually write you back and, you know, provide you with the information and try to help you out the best they can. All right, guys, that is a wrap on this review. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, I definitely recommend grabbing one of these. Um, again, it's third party. It's not licensed. I want to grab one in case anything ever happens and they, you know, get shut down in some way. Uh, one issue I'm sure some people are going to, Ask about it is fingerprints. Uh, you'll definitely get some fingerprints on this if you're handling the front of the shield. I just took a little small microfiber cloth. You know, just wiped it down. No issues. Comes off super easy. One final look around. Every angle I can give you. Alright guys, I'm out here. Happy clicking. We'll see you at the next video.